In the first video of the channel, we started our journey into the cosmos of numbers. We learned that numbers interact with each other, and in this context, we introduced addition. In this video, we will introduce another way that numbers can interact. We will visualize subtraction. Let's start with a basic example. 5 minus 2 equals. Just as we did in addition, we will use the channel's current picture in this subtraction too. So we have 5 creatures for number 5, but this time we need to take away 2. Actually, any 2 creatures from the creature column on the left. And as you can see, we are left with only 3 of them. So it's quite safe to say now that 5 minus 2 equals 3. Five plus two equals seven, but also two plus five leads to the same result because the order of the addends has no effect on the final result, even if we need to add more than two numbers, in which case we can change the order of the addends as many times as we want, but the sum remains unchanged. The order makes a huge difference in subtraction. We may write this expression with the result being 3, as we explained earlier, but we can't write it the other way around, because it is as if we're trying to take away more than what is actually available. In other words, you can't give away 5 apples when you only have 2. Therefore, to write down a meaningful subtraction like this one, make sure first that the number on the left of the minus symbol is indeed greater than the number on the right. But what if bigger numbers are involved? In this case, we rearrange them so that the bigger number sits on top of the other one. And if the number of the digits is different, we make sure that both numbers are lined up to the right, which is also the case in addition. Just like addition, we start with the digits on the right, 5 minus 2 equals 3, which becomes part of the result. And then the digits on the left were 8 minus 6 equals 2, and thus 85 minus 62 equals 23. And here's the vertical version of this example. As we mentioned earlier, vertical subtraction is quite similar to vertical addition, and here is why. We start with the right column numbers, the 1s, where 5 minus 2 equals 3, and then from the 10s column, 8 minus 6 equals 2 and the result is again 23. But let's have a look at the more challenging case of subtraction now. Starting with the right number column, we have 3 minus 8, but we can't take away 8 from number 3, so to make this subtraction possible, we borrow 1 from the next number column, and 3 becomes 13, so we have 13 minus 8 equals 5. Moving on to the next number column, we have 9 minus 2. But we have to give back what we borrowed by adding it to number 2, and we will end up having 9 minus 3 instead, and therefore we have 6 in the result. So, 93 minus 28 equals 65. Keep in mind that in some cases you might need to borrow more than just once. The following example is one such case. Again, working from the right to the left, Instead of having 5 minus 8, we borrow 1 from the tens column and we have 15 minus 8 that equals 7. The middle number column gives 2 minus 6, so we need to borrow again, but this time from the left number column and we have 12 minus 6 instead. Remember, we need to return the 1 we borrowed, hence 6 will become 7, so we have 12 minus 7, which equals 5. Moving on to the last column, 7 minus 2 is allowed, but once again we need to give back what we borrowed. So 2 will become 3 and 7 minus 3 equals 4. So we can safely say that 725 minus 268 equals 457. And now that we have explained subtraction with actual numbers, it's time to watch subtraction in action. 
The act of taking away something from another object or group of objects, in this case geometric shapes, is what subtraction is all about, with the final result being precisely what we're left with, in this case the blue line segment or the blue part of the circle. Just like addition, the objects, geometric shapes involved might be different, but the result is always the same.